saban nar ye dua continuously you you going to say that every every round from i've been dreaming about it since you know i converted to islam alhamdulillah it's been a year it's been uh, the greatest year of my life um you know one of the, the greatest parts was right when i converted um i was nervous to tell the story to my mother because she is a uh, hardcore orthodox christian and so is my whole family um so i was very nervous like when i to, to tell her and i didn't i didn't think she would take it well i was very nervous but so when i told her that i converted to islam and um i explained why uh, and i gave her all the reasons the differences about jesus alay salam um within 3 weeks of that she accepted islam to a humble oh subhanallah akbar allah akbar allah akbar allah akbar and and from that point just thinking of like how someone can be such a religious person like christian for 40 50 years and just drop everything in a moment it made me like believe truly from that point it was allah and i was so thankful Alhamdulillah, and my whole like goal now is just to help my whole family see the light, see see uh, the truth, the hub, and inshallah, um, you know they will all become Muslim inshallah. So, um, but yeah, so a little bit about you know my journey to, to Islam. Um, yeah, so I was born into Christianity. I was pretty religious. I went to Catholic school when I was little. Um I would say I was pretty religious but with Christianity I never really found um a lot of the like teachings and, and like the readings in the scripture and stuff and never really um you know spoke to me in the level that the Quran did so you know while I was Christian I was religious I would pray to God and I would always pray to him like by myself individually I didn't really uh like to go to uh you know confession cuz that's a lot of things has like uh intermediary uh, intercessions you have to talk to a priest you have to go to church and all that and there was so much like politics and division in the, in the Christian church so i i kind of stayed away from that a lot and i just was like i know god can hear me from wherever i am and you know i always prayed you know personal prayers and even if i didn't go to church or not i was always like connected to god so and it's very ironic because one of the uh prayers I, i had when i was christian you know morning and night time i would always say these prayers i was shocked to find out um it would has a lot of relation with how far to her so i was always asking god to keep me steadfast and keep me on the right path and when i found out that was al fatiha i was blown away so subhanallah subhanallah and um yeah so um so yeah so how i found islam basically um I went to Morgan State University and uh, a brother of mine there was Muslim um and you know we were actually doing dawah to one another he was Muslim trying to you know get me convert and then vice versa so after we graduated we we're still debating talking back and forth and yeah after after two years of going back and forth after graduation um you know he he, he told me he can he showed me a lot about you know how Christianity was flawed you know the, the trinity i never really understood the trinity my whole life and it's funny because i always thought that uh the trinity included mary and this is like so sad because you know i was christian for like my whole life oh you can't hear huh you said keep your head close can you hear me now okay so i was like uh christian my whole life and i didn't realize huh? i'll start over again Where was I? So uh, is is it the is it the word of God? I was just shocked like when I watched that video and I I was watching a lot of Dawa videos uh Sheikh Uthman Ibn Farooq he's in San Diego. He's a uh, he's actually Pakistani and um he, I really connected with him because um and mashallah I got to meet him you know, later this earlier this year at um in New Jersey at a conference it was amazing. But uh He was uh he just showed a lot about uh Christianity the flaws 
the, the contradictions over and over in every page of the uh, scripture. And I was just shocked because, you know, I really believed in Christianity and he was just tearing it apart. And I'm like, wow. Um, and then he talked a lot about, you know, St. Paul. And this was really like the dagger because I never realized that this one individual that never met uh, Isa alayhi salam basically wrote the New Testament by himself. So pretty much almost more than half of the New Testament is his handwork. So when I found that out, I was just so shocked. I was like, this is unbelievable. This is just like made up stuff. And to add to the Trinity and all that. And by the way, I thought the Trinity included Mary. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, Christianity is, um, it has a lot of uh, flaws and a lot of, uh, you know, Christians are very confused. Confused about, you know, what they believe uh, what it stands for uh, They just believe like you know All their sins are forgiven They just got to believe Jesus is their Lord and Savior And then they just live whatever kind of life they want to So it's very flawed But um, you know they, they don't know what they don't have So you know We need to be strong and, and do our job And you know you know, Call them to the truth It's kind of part of our responsibility So we should, it's, it says it in the Quran In multiple verses that we should all do, uh, you know, our part to, to, to do da'wah. I forget the story of the verse, but, um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, so I think, what else did I want to say? How was your experience in Medina Manora? Oh, mashallah to Berk Allah. It was everything I dreamed of. Uh, the time felt like uh, way too fast. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely have to come back again. Unfortunately, I missed the Zara tour. The, I was disappointed. I missed that tour of the mountain. Ziarat. Ziarat. Ziarat tour on a Wednesday because I was busy, um, I guess, sleeping. But um, yeah, I really felt like it was a very special place. Um, the peace, the peace that you feel when you're in the Masjid al Nabawi. It's, it's indescribable. You never see anything wrong. Everyone is at peace. Everyone, everything is calm. Everything feels just right. And um, it's like really a place that I, I want to come back. And I'm, inshallah ta'ala. And I'm actually thinking about um, applying to Medina University. Inshallah ta'ala. So, 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 so please make dua for me. Huh? Alhamdulillah, it's all by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'm so happy to be here and inshallah we will all, you know, go to Umrah now and, and may our Umrahs be accepted inshallah ta'ala. Inshallah. Oh, what was your turning point? Can you say la ilaha illallah? Any turning point at the time? Uh, just reading the Quran, that was the main turning point. Because I read the Bible my whole life, it felt like just, you know, like, just like the diary of people saying stuff about prophets and this and that. And then when you read the Quran, it's literally like God talking to you. Like asking you questions like, don't you think, don't you do this, don't you ponder, all these things we made for you. And it just, it just felt so uh, perfect. Like it felt like it didn't come from this, you know, world. So I couldn't deny it. It was just too obvious. And Allah like guided me to it. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Allah with me. I shared that video, please. I shared that video. I'm sorry. During your Christianity time, yeah. were, were you ever been to a big crowd like the Masjid al Nabawi? Oh. What was your reaction? First reaction, it was like, you know, very big crowd, big crowd. Yeah. Um, in my time in Christianity, I've never seen such a, you know, uniting factor. Um, you know, in, in so many like Christians in one place, I've never ever seen. So just seeing that many Muslims all together from all different continents of the world. It just shows like, you know, it's just indescribable because even in Christianity, you know, you see like, you know, segregation, you see like Korean Baptist church, you see like every culture has their own and just like pondering. And I just kept, you know, she kept like asking, uh, 
the game bundle yeah. about like why I made the decision, wanting more information about you know what the difference is. And she tried to, you know, we kind of had like a debate about the difference between it, like what Christianity believes and what Islam believes. And we talked a lot about that. We, we, we dug deeply. We talked about Isa Alay Salam. We talked about God like, being truly really one God. It's still running. There's so no Trinity. At some point, it's just and, shut off. And yeah, all that. And, and it wasn't like easy, you know. Obviously, it was extremely hard. You know, her, her defensive mechanism came out. She's defending her religion. And, um, but it's unbelievable. Within two to three weeks, subhanAllah, she just started praying with me. She started doing salah. And it was just like a shocking miracle to me. Like, that's how I feel. Like, never lost temper anything like that. Never lost, never lost a temper, nope. Wow. I thought she would. <laughs> Surprisingly, no. I mean, you know, grow, growing up in America, it's it's very like hidden in plain sight. They like don't, like all all we learn about it in classes in, in one grade. We talked about it for like 30 minutes, literally, and it's crazy. They're just talking about okay, it's just one religion. Uh, their prophet lives in a cave, and that's and it's just like they just they don't talk anything about it, and it's really sad. And I, it's, it's crazy because when I converted, I remember that class that didn't teach me about Islam. It was subhanAllah. But, um, that by design, they don't teach you. That's what I'm saying is, is you know, in this Western world, it's very secular. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people between this conception. There's so much misconception. But they just can come out. I have a question. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. I know you mentioned what was the reason, but what was actually deciding moment or deciding factor that converted you to Islam? That converted me to Islam. I mean, what was something in your mind at the time? It was. It was, it was definitely like a phase of of like, whoa, whoa, is this the truth? Okay, let me dig deeper. Let me look into this video. Let me look at this debate. So I don't think it was just like one moment. But if I had to say one moment or one thing, it was definitely reading the Quran. MashaAllah. Mashallah. 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 I just want to say, when we, I just met him, you know, together at the airport, and I did not think he was still converted. And I, looking at his face and talking to him, I thought he is a Muslim, God Muslim. So, mashallah, you know, so this is the kind of feeling I got that. Honestly, from which, is, which is true. So, true. you know, this I, is I, like... I did yeah. not know that either. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, mashallah, you know, this is a blessing, you know. So you are a born, like a born Muslim. The faith you have, they're looking for the truth. So that's it. And pray for us. There are a lot of Muslims, they don't think that we're you think, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think about it like all the Sahabas, they're all reverts too. So Exactly, yeah. That's true.